In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can increase your ads performance and get more leads from the same budget by doing search term report analysis. Why are search term reports so important? Well, when we select keywords for our Google ads, they target a wide range of individual search terms. These search terms are exactly what people type into Google to find our products and services. Sometimes these terms aren't as closely related to our products or services as we might initially think. This means our ads show up for terms that don't bring in leads and end up wasting a big part of our ad budget. So knowing how to do a search term report helps you save your ad spend and ultimately make sure your ad campaign is profitable. It's an essential part of running Google Ads because you can't just run an ad campaign and hope for the best. You need to constantly optimize it for better performance. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kurt from One Based Media and for years we've helped hundreds of local businesses get more leads, more customers and ultimately make more money. And in these videos, we uncover everything so you can do the same. If you don't wanna miss any videos, join our community, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to stay notified. So today, I will be showing you a search term report for a landscaping company. As you can see, their campaign is doing very well. They've got 56 leads, their cost per conversion is £37.57, and their cost per click is also very low. So this campaign is performing well and getting really good results. And a huge part of this success comes from the constant optimizing we've been doing and removing keywords and search terms that don't generate leads. So here's how to do the analysis and make a search term report. In the overview section, go to keywords and click on search terms. The first column is a search term column and these are the keywords that people are typing into Google that are triggering our ads. And this column is the keywords that we're targeting in our ads campaign. If you can't find this metric, go to columns and then click on modify columns, then select attributes and make sure keywords is selected. Beside every keyword, you can see other metrics like impressions and average cost per click. The last two columns have the most important metrics, which are conversion and cost of conversion. Now you can see which keywords are generating the most amount of leads and how much is costing you. As you can see, these two keywords have generated one lead each and it costs us £25 and £37 respectively. This keyword, Design My Garden, has generated two leads for only £3, so this is a very good keyword to target. Now all you want to do is go through all the keywords you're targeting and exclude the ones that are getting clicks but not leading to conversions. You can do this by clicking on the clicks column and to organize the keywords from the most clicks to the least. For instance, this term, landscaping reading, has eight clicks. Average cost per click is around two pounds, but it has zero conversions. So we would look at this keyword and see if we can do anything to improve its performance because currently it's just costing us money without getting any results. You wanna look at the data and see if you want to change the landing page or the ad copy or just stop targeting this keyword altogether. We can easily do that by putting Reading in a negative keywords list. Same thing for these two keywords, Landscape and Basingstoke and Landscape and Bracknell. They have five clicks each, but no conversions. You wanna go through all this data in your Google Ads and see if you can do anything to improve the conversions of the keywords. And if not, you wanna exclude them or put them in the negative keywords list. This is a campaign we're constantly optimizing. At the moment, the cost per lead is 37 pounds. But by continuously doing this, we'll be able to pull down the cost per lead even lower. Some keywords have a cost per conversion of 37 pound and 35 pound which might seem high. However, these keywords are for full landscaping jobs, making the ad campaign still very profitable. It's important to consider that your cost per lead should not exceed your profit from the actual service. Otherwise, running ads becomes pointless if they aren't profitable. You can also organize this keyword data by cost by clicking on it. Now you can see which keywords are costing you the most and are not generating any leads. Take the search term landscape in Reading, for example. It has cost about £20 without generating any leads. Since this campaign has a high budget, £20 doesn't affect us much. But if this cost was higher, say a couple of hundred pounds, then we'd be concerned. We'd try improving performance by changing the landing page or ad copy. And if that didn't work, we would add red into the negative keywords list so our ads don't show up for that search term anymore. This is basically how you would carry out a search term analysis. You organize the keywords by clicks and costs, then go through them and start excluding the ones that are not generating any leads. This is how you get your cost per lead down and improve your ad's performance. Thank you for watching until the end. I hope you got a lot out of the video. So our goal here is to help you generate the best quality leads. You can fill out your diary with more customers and of course, grow your business. And that's it from me. And by the way, if lead generation is a problem for you right now, then there's a link in the description that's gonna help you solve that problem in just under three minutes. I wanna say a big thank you again for watching this video. If you wanna see more like this, please like and subscribe, and also leave a comment in our comment section. We read and respond to all the comments we get. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next one.